things right there. That's what you got to watch getting into. Look at them ones those swilly swims in. You see how deep they are? What's that about a foot? All, all three foot. Maybe a foot and a half deep. I'm going to get lost I'll tell you that. tell when you get hung up in one, though. Swilly, we're coming for you. You're done, son. Doesn't have to come get one. TV show, you see them boys running the two-man crew. And for the number of logs they pull, that's probably all right. As for us, it generally takes three to four guys running around our boat at any time because we're generally pulling that many logs. And there's a lot to handle that. Now, you see them boys, and they, they hook up one or two of them little pencils, and then they got to go home. Let's head back to the boat reps, will it? Uh, generally, for us, we won't leave till we got six or eight tied off to the side of the boat. And then we make a real trip back to the ramp to make it worthwhile. So generally, I do run a three-man crew or a four-man crew. And on days when we're taking logs out, we may have as many as six people working. But that's because we got enough damn logs to justify six people working. We was trying to find people that would help us out good in the water. So we found the river guide. It's been logging with us for a while now. Then we found Old Money. Let me tell you, Old Money, I ain't never seen a better river pilot than Old Money. That boy can drive a boat better forwards than most people can. A damn car. Hell, he drive a boat better backwards than most people can drive a car forward. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it. Y'all ain't never seen the SNS guy in the river with this shit right here, have you? You what? So you ain't never seen them boys on TV running down the river like this shit right here? What we figured to do to make this a little bit fairer and not completely embarrass them is we'll only log like three days out of the week. We hit like 50 or 60 for the week. We'll just quit pulling and park our boat. We'll get a little chase boat and just drive around and make fun of them. Hell, we might even try to redneck locate one for them if them sons of bitches could manage to find it. I'll tell you what, this is what we can do. We'll get on their boat Friday, Saturday, and Sunday and find logs for them so that they'll have a chance when it comes to the end on the they log off. They won't even have to look that bad. Yeah. yeah, but I ain't sure their boat can pull up a real log. I ain't seen them pull up nothing pencil shit all year anyway. Well, that's because they're scared. Yeah, that's true. You gotta go in some deep water for that shit. We'll get, we'll use your boat. We'll pull up logs for you too. How's that? That's fair. Yeah, we'll, we'll help them find some. Actually, I don't. I, Jimmy went to cussing that time. We might actually show James how to find a log. Yeah, we can teach that boy something. Yeah. Hey, well, I, I, bet, I bet we can teach James how to find a log. We can probably teach him boy something. After a long day of logging, the Dreadnoughts start their three-mile trek back down river to their landing to drop off the river gold. The drought here in the south caused the river depths to drop to less than a foot in some areas. The shallow waters and the weight of six logs on the boat forces the Dreadnoughts to push their homemade river chariot through the shoals, sometimes even getting help from the river neighbors. After arriving at the landing, it's time to unload their prize cargo and get the Aquanaut ready for another day of river logging. When I got involved with deadhead logging, I was managing a sawmill in Micanopy, Florida, and they specialized in the sawing and milling of recovered lumber and seeing the great value there was to actually being, instead of being the guy that sawed it, being the guy that found it. I decided I'd learned scuba dive that I'd lived on the river my whole life, and by God, it just couldn't be that hard. So I went and seen Dave. He taught us how to scuba dive, and when I told him what we were scuba diving for, after I convinced him that I was not batshit crazy, that we were, in fact, going to go log underwater, he came along with us, and I'm telling you, we was just born with it. And that boy is magnetically drawn to logs. Them some bitches will swim around and find him. We, we just find them like they're going out of style. We're just, we're just that damn good. So. We're so damn good, our logs attract other logs. Like, we didn't put it here, but there's a big giant log right here. If you notice, this is our landing. Oh. That's the best shit I've ever seen. <laughs> That's the best shit I've ever seen. What is that? That's a dowel peg where the raft was held together. That's one of the pegs that actually held it together. Drove in the end of the log. That's one of the better ones I've ever seen. What you'll have on rafts when you 
UC rafts together the way they were built. They would run 10 to 15 logs across in a basic raft formation, and then you'd have what they call the peg log. So you'll have a hand hewn drill hole in your logs, and then a peg in several of the logs across the raft, and they would set this log on top of the others, and all the pegs would hold it together. And then when you got to the next section, you'd have pegs on the bottom and pegs on the top, and each section would overlap. Now, in the last one, where we pulled the 31 logs that were together, essentially what would happen was we would find the eight or nine together and then the peg log and then several more back behind it. Then we would find the rudder beams and the rudder board mount. The only thing we actually didn't find there was the actual rudder. So what we came upon there was an actual entire raft that sank. The late 19th century brought countless changes to the face of Florida. The landscape of towering pine trees and expansive cypress swamps on the southern peninsula invited new inhabitants and pioneered new industries, including several northern logging companies. In those early years, armed with only an axe, loggers clear-cut the longleaf pine forests and harvested the giant cypress. These hundred-year-old pines and cypress, some thousands of years old, and subsequent hand-cut logs were then rafted together and floated downriver to nearby sawmills. It has been estimated that nearly 10% of these cut timbers sunk while in transit and were lost to river's bottom, where they are preserved by the cool water and lack of oxygen. Modern-day craftsmen highly regard the wood that is milled from these pre-cut submerged timbers, or deadhead logs, because of their great strength, durability, and resistance to rot. Wood from the sunken logs revered for its tight grain and array of color, ranging from blonde to caramel to black, is up to 10 times more valuable than conventional wood. It is used to make upscale paneling, flooring, and furniture. After watching Axemen on the History Channel for several years, the Dreadnoughts have decided that we need to show America what real river logging is. We will show you what big wood is all about. No more treetops and small stormfall. We get our wood from the deepest, darkest holes in the river. Holes filled with alligator gar, snapping turtles, and every now and again, a big nasty American alligator. These giant river logs have not seen the light of day in over a hundred years. So yes, we are calling you out, SNS Aqua Logging, Steve, AKA Uncle Buck, you too, Swilly. Hell, Dave taught Swilly how to dive, and Clint taught Swilly how to log. As for those damn Yankees from Washington, they don't even belong down here in our redneck paradise. We find more wood in one weekend than those boys can find all season, combined. So if you want personalities that America will call unbelievable, can't miss TV, have those so-called river loggers take us on. Hell, <laughs> we'll take on both those crews at the same time. Team them up. If they think they got the sack, America loves underdogs. America loves controversy. America will love the dreadnought.
Paul backward. Not Milo. Pepsi. Official drink of River Logger. Subway. Eat fresh. You gotta show a little more than that! Let me dig out!